Hi there guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if this is your first time. Uh, today I'm just going to talk about a record that I've had on pre-order for about the last six to eight weeks, I think, something like that. Uh, it arrived the other day, this is the first time I've had a chance to do a video on it, and I am of course talking about the new remix and remaster of... Hawkwind's Space Ritual. Um, this is celebrating 50 years. It's a 50th uh, celebration. Um, they've done this in a lot of different versions, CD, DVD, uh, Blu-ray, 5.1, box set, etc, etc. This is the vinyl version. This is the Cherry Red exclusive. This is limited to or was, it's sold out now, this was limited to 500 numbered copies uh, available through Cherry Red um, online and Cherry Red record stores exclusively. Um, I was lucky I got in early and I managed to get the uh, splatter vinyl version of this. So we'll quickly go over this and while we're here we'll talk about this version as well. Um, this version is the 2015 reissue on um, Parlophone, I think. This was the EMI Parlophone label. Um, this is all analogue, cut from the original master tapes. Uh, it's the last time I think it was ever done like that. Um, and this was reissued in the original poster cover. I'm not going to get it out now, but this folds out like the original. Um, and it's... You know, it's not hard to get hold of, but I think it's holding its price. The new reissue, however, is a standard gatefold sleeve, but there are some nice little touches to this, which um, make it unique. Um, first of all, let's talk about the, the hype sticker. I've kept the plastic. Now, they are individually numbered. Um, but the numbering is on the actual hype sticker, not on the record. So I've had to keep the hype sticker. So there you go. Rough, rough Trade exclusive. Did I say Cherry Red? I meant Rough Trade, sorry. Rough Trade exclusive, sky blue with yellow and red splatter vinyl, 414 of 500. Um, so yeah, um, that's that. So we've got... The jacket, this is a standard gatefold as I said, but it does follow the original fairly closely until you open it up. And obviously you've got a couple of panels there which were on the original um, fold out cover. And let's read some of the blurb here. Original album version remastered. It says it's been remastered, but what they've actually done because they remixed it as well. Uh, There's supposed to be a remix because um, it's uh, they've remixed it for 5.1. So they had to go back into the 16 track, multi-tracks to do that. Remastered from the original stereo master tapes by Ben Wiseman at Broad Lake Studios, Hertfordshire. Cut at Abbey Road Studios by Alex Wharton. Um... Oh, I was right. Cherry red. Sorry, it's cherry. I, I was getting confused there. So, all tracks 2023 Parlophone Records Limited. Uh, this release 2023 Cherry Red Records. So it's on Cherry Red Records. So it's actually on um, Atom Henge label, which is Hawkwind's own label, but they're um, a subsidiary or sort of looked after by Cherry Red. Uh, licensed courtesy of Warner Music, Atom Henge is a cherry red label managed by Esoteric Records or Recordings. The official Hawkwind website, blah blah blah. <clears throat> um, do, 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 consume for do. There's a lot of stuff on there, but anyway, let's go into the uh, record. And first of all, we have. A poster. Now, what this actually is is 
a reproduction of the original sleeve, fold out sleeve but as a poster so you're basically getting the fold out sleeve but in poster form you, you couldn't wrap the record in this because it's too small and there's two panels missing there's two panels missing so but yeah so you've got a nice poster there so they've sort of reproduced part of the inner sleeve there which is nice and then the records themselves are in reproduction inner sleeves like the original which, are, which is nice and the record itself is blue with yellow and red splatter which is uh, really psychedelic man and there you go it's on uh, uh, Space Ritual Alive in London and Liverpool it was actually recorded they called it the Brixton Sundown back in the day it's actually the Brixton Academy um, as we know it now um, but yeah um, oh, I have had a chance to listen to this actually already oh, I have done a slight comparison with the original all analogue that I've got it's not an original but it's an all analogue cut um, there's the other record they are very good I mean there's, there's they're very very flat um, and like I say limited to 500 worldwide so I wonder how much this is going to be worth in a few years time but yeah there we go Hawkwind Space Ritual my second favourite Hawkwind album my first being In Search of Space um, the best line up as well it's got Levy on bass and uh, Nick Turner Bob Calvert are in there Michael Moorcox doing his poetry it's excellent um, there is going to be a comparison I'll do a comparison video between that and this uh, 2015 all analog reissue I used to have an original pressing of it uh, no longer have that that went when I sold all my records back in the early O's um, so we'll have to be content with a comparison with an all analog cut from 2015 which sounds really really good to be fair but I'm interested to know if there's any differences in the mix because um, it doesn't actually say it on the jacket there but on the the original rough trade website blurb it did say it was remixed and remastered so um, they obviously had to remix it for 5.1 that was a given, so they had to go back to the 16 track multi track tapes because it was recorded, it was only recorded on 16 track, which at that time, 1972, 71, 72, was um, probably in its infancy as well. It had just come out 16 track because 8 track had only just come out in about 1969. So um, I know the US had 8 track before us. But um, yeah, I think Abbey Road were the first studio to get an 8-track machine in 1969. Uh, so 16-track in 1972 was still fairly new, I guess. Um, so yeah, we'll leave it at that. I'll see you in the next video. Hit like and subscribe down below and the bell button, etc. And um, look out for the comparison video, the shootout video. And uh, yeah interested to see how that goes anyway i'll see you in the next one cheers bye bye